family of a man killed when a former Houston police officer slammed into his car says what happened in court today was a slap in the face. On the second day of the former officer's trial, a judge acquitted Matthew Valdez. The move stunned the family of Walter Cooper. ABC 13's Jessica Willie spoke to the family tonight. She is live now with the latest. Jessica. Yeah, former Houston police officer Matthew Valdez found not guilty here at the courthouse this afternoon in what's called a directed verdict, a decision made by the judge well before the jury gets the case. I'm told they are rare. The victim's family didn't think it would end like this. It's totally a slap in the face. To be quite honest, the children of Walter Cooper reacting to the day's developments in court. What type of message, you know, is actually been being sent to the law enforcement um, officers that are policing these areas? Houston police officer Matthew Valdez on trial for criminally negligent homicide. It is unfortunate. Accused uh, of killing crap. Cooper in late 2020 as the officer was speeding to a weapons disturbance on Lay Road. Surveillance video from a gas station capturing the violent crash. It was day two of the trial. Valdez's attorney, Brent Mayer, asked Judge Chuck Silverman for a directed verdict or a ruling based on a lack of sufficient evidence, and he got it. And he agreed with us, and he ordered uh, that Matthew be acquitted, and, uh, and the jury was, they concluded their service. Was laughable. But Cooper's children uh, left stunned. Their father, a military veteran who had just lost his wife of 51 years, had more life to live. The officer was traveling 90 when the speed limit was 35. He had not activated his lights and sirens. The DA's office said they thought it was an important case to prosecute. The defense noted Cooper's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. It's almost like they definitely tried to defame um, the name and, and care of my father. This was a tragic accident, but just like Every crime is a tragedy. Not every tragedy is a crime. And they can seek justice. That's what the civil courthouse is for. Mayor they says his client, who resigned from HPD, would like to be a police officer again. Cooper's children don't feel like justice was served. He not only put my father in jeopardy, but he put the entire community in jeopardy. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.